here with Arizona head coach Jed Fish. Coach, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I want to start with whose idea was it to have Rob Gronkowski come out in his 48 jersey and set a Guinness World Record catching a football pass from 600 feet in the air? Well, it was a collective group <laughs> of, uh, as we were sitting around talking and we were making sure that we wanted to really bring energy to our program. Mm -hmm. And when we were uh, working with a group in Hollywood, mm -hmm. They said, you know, one of the things that we do mm -hmm. is we set Guinness records. And as we were deciding to hire them and we were uh, working with some of our alumni to bring them in, um, they said, well, why don't we have the longest or highest catch ever done? So I did say, I go, well, if we're going to do that, might as well get Gronk to catch it. And uh, we knew that I asked him to come back for the spring game to be an honorary head coach really in like February mm. and then again in March and then again in, and when he agreed to do it, we were able to put it all together and get him out there and you got to put him in his jersey, right? You can't put him in a Bucks jersey. You can't put him in a t-shirt and shorts. So we said, hey, this will be your last catch that you made at Arizona Stadium. Let's make it a big one. Right on. No, I had such fun watching that video and it seemed to do really well, both digitally, but also for the brand of your program. How would you describe your program, the way that you want people to perceive it? You know, right now we want to talk about a ton of energy and enthusiasm. And that's a big part of what we're trying to get done. We talk about joy. Uh, we're obviously Steve Kerr. Mm. It's a big influence uh, to the University of Arizona. Mm. And uh, to me personally, and one of his four values that he talks about as a team is joy. Um, and we brought that in and we brought that energy and we brought that enthusiasm for life and enthusiasm for what we're trying to get accomplished. And I want our team to have fun competing. Uh, that's what we have written all over our walls. Uh, have fun competing. Uh, so there's nothing to say that you can't be the most competitive program in the country. Uh, Steve Spurrier for 12 years at Florida wrote on the whiteboard before walking on the field, have fun competing. Mm. And I think his record was like 121 and 20. So uh, I'll take that, and uh, I'll take that mentality as well. Well, I tell folks you're one and zero in conference play as a head coach in this conference. Uh, but also, speaking of fun, quarterbacks coach, New England Patriots. You had a year with Cam Newton. Is there a story you can tell us from that year that we can play in the podcast episode? Wow. Well, I mean, Cam is uh, Cam was as much fun uh, and the best player I've ever coached. Mm. I mean, he is. Uh, he is phenomenal, and there's times that we, you know, that one individual story, man, there's so many of them. There's a time, I can tell you, there's a great story one time. So I walk on the field, and I used to give these guys a hard time about it, just about everything. Cam would tell you that I was probably on him for every single thing he did. And uh, we walk out on the field, and I told me he had to be out there early. So I go out there, and uh, I'm talking to Coach Belichick before practice, and I see the quarterbacks out of the corner of my eye talking to each other. And I walk over there, and no one says a word to me. And then we go through the whole stretch, and no one answers a question I ask them. And I go, what is going on here? And the young kid, the young, he said, Coach, uh, Cam said 10000 bucks to the first guy that, <laughs> that doesn't talk to, that, does, that goes the whole day without talking to me. And I said, oh, really? OK. So we go, he throws an interception the very first play of practice. And I go, Cam? And he goes, fine. He goes, I'm just not in it right now. And uh, so he wound up losing the bet. He had to pay himself. And uh, wound up, uh, we got over it pretty quick. But he was just a phenomenal guy to coach. And I just love him. Right on, Coach. Uh, my last question for you. What was the last job you had before being a football coach? Lifeguard. Really? Yeah, I lifeguarded every summer. So my last, uh, without a doubt, that was I did that every summer from like 16 to 22. And uh, so that was my last uh, job. And then finally I got to, I think I lifeguarded while coaching at first. And then finally I was able to not have to do it. Do you have a Wendy Peppercorn moment, maybe? The Sandlot, Wendy Peppercorn? No? no. Okay, all right. Dives in the water, fakes being dr drowning, and then... The lifeguard that he has a crush on jumps into the water. Oh, he next with look it. Look at that. Yeah. Now I have to watch the movie. <laughs> uh, coach, I put together what I thought was the best all time Pac 12 offense and defense. There's a defense on the front, it's the offense on the back. 
Who did I miss? I love the Arizona guys on here. Hey, man, Scooby Wright could play. <laughs> you might have missed Chuck Cecil, though. Ooh. You might have missed Chuck Cecil. Why should Chuck be on this team? I, I think what Chuck did for the game, mm. I think when you think of Chuck Cecil in terms of the toughness mm. that he brought to the game, and when you think of Chuck Cecil in terms of the mentality of starting as a walk-on that was 148 pounds, ending up being a Hall of Famer, college football Hall of Famer, um, All-American, uh, academic All-American, uh, draft pick, played nine years in the NFL, really changed some of the rules in the NFL based on how you have to hit and the protection, uh, helmet protection. Uh, I just think that he is such a difference maker in terms of his mentality and how he plays. Right on, Coach. I can get down with a 148-pound anybody as a short king myself. Uh, Arizona head coach Jed Fish, thank you so much for taking the time, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Arizona players Anthony Pandy, Stanley Berryhill. Guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm doing good. How you doing? I like it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I appreciate you guys trying to do that all at the same time. Um, I'm logged in, so it's a little bit easier for me. So I want to start with this. Uh, how has it been getting to know Coach Fish? Anthony, you go first. I think Coach Fish uh, made it easy for us to get to know who he is as a person and as his coach fast. Um, he shared with us pretty much what his vision is this season and as a coach at the U of A, and it was uh, easier for us to buy into that. So I know. How'd you stand? Uh, yeah, getting to know Coach Fish, it's been a smooth transition. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a very positive coach, very enthusiastic. Uh, players can relate to him. So he's made it a fun experience, and it's been good the last six, seven months. So I didn't get a chance to ask Coach Fish about this, so I'm going to ask you guys. How do you feel about your quarterback competition? I, we love competition at the U of A, okay. so it's a great thing that we got it. Uh, yeah, I would say it just pushes each of the quarterbacks to perform, and it brings the best you know, competition for each champion. So. At the end of the day, we'll have the right man for the job. I like to think so. I like to think so, Stan. All right, I want to pivot to what I think are some fun questions. So by all means, Anthony, Stan, have fun with them. All right. So Anthony, let's start with you. Who was your favorite past college football player? My favorite co past college football player. I'm going to have to go with probably Troy Palomalu. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Is it the hair? And that he's Polynesian. Okay. Plays with tenacity. I mean, hey, look. There, there are other poly players that you could have picked. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, all right. Mm. I don't want you to make it sound like he the only one. That's all. That, that's all I was doing. That's Trust me, I know. Hey, oh, man, he was nice. What you got, Stan? I'd probably have to go with Michael Vick. Uh, growing up, I played quarterback, so Michael Vick was that guy. I had his cleats. Tried to win number seven whenever I could, but... Yeah, Michael Vick. See, man, you the first person I've asked that question to who give me Vick, and I had the Vicks too, yeah. right? With the high top, man. Yeah, me and my dad both had him. He had the turfs and I had the cleats. Oh, man, I yeah, need to get the turfs. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm out here trying to play football. It was cleats. crazy. Stop, stop. No, it ain't funny. It ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shake his head. I appreciate that. Okay, Anthony, who on the team would you most want to date your sister? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I gotta think about this one long and hard. Let me see. <laughs> None of them. None of them. I wouldn't trust one person on the team now. Wow. Okay. Not one. All so, right. Especially not Christian Young. Especially <laughs> <laughs> not CY. RJ Rob. Or who? RJ Rob. Okay. All right. You got you got somebody you would? Yeah, I'm gonna go with DJ Lu Tyler Lupar. He's one of our punters. He, okay. He seems like a good dude, so he hasn't shown me nothing yet. So I think he he'll he'll be a solid dude. Yeah, man, everybody pick a specialist. Like I was gonna say a specialist too, but I don't want no specialist dating my sister. So yeah, I'm good on that. You don't want no specialist dating his sister. More like a, a skill position. You know me? But no, I don't trust nobody on the team with that. I appreciate that. All right, all right. Who has the best uniforms in college football? And you cannot say Arizona. I got mine already. 
Go ahead. I like Maryland. I like Maryland's uniforms. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what any of that stuff is on the sigils? No, no clue. Okay. I just right. look fancy and nice. It's a lot going on. Mm. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. Yeah. Like Stan's pants. It's a lot going on. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> No, I you do. see his like socks that. though. He's I do like that. No, I do. Ooh, look, Pac-Man. we playing Pac-Man. Yeah, I mean, had to have you know, bring him out a little bit. I love that. I yeah. love that. I'll we got the best uniform. have to go North Carolina for sure. Ooh, that baby blue, navy blue, is hard. That's... Nah, that's what's up. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, y'all the first tandem not to say Oregon. <laughs> of course. Okay. Just I'm making sure. I'm making sure. <laughs> it never crossed my mind. He said he never crossed my mind. They got to have good uniforms. Phil Knight went there. Man. All right. So I put together what I thought was the best all-time Pac-12 Pac offense and Pac-12 defense. Some of these players played in the Pac-12, so that's me. So tell me who I left off. Troy Polamalu. He on there. You looking at the offense. Oh, okay. oh, I yeah. see him. He's big yeah. on top. Okay. 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 Yeah, my fault. Okay. <laughs> hey, what, what you? Nah, I got your mans. Yeah, got you got Teddy on here. Mm hmm. Forgot Marcus Mariota. Over Matt Leonard. I don't know. Marcus Mariota was cold. I mean, I watched Marcus Mariota more than I watched Matt Leonard. So. So why were you watching more Marcus Mariota? I was just older. older? Okay. So. Okay. Matt Leonard's hard too, though. I watched the little documentary. You know, doggone well, I don't need a quarterback with that offense. You, you know? don't. You I, really don't. My mama going to be back there, handing the uh, hand it off to Christian, <laughs> handing it off to Reggie, throwing swing passes. He got uh, Brandon Cooks on there, though. He hard. Yeah. He hard. Our coach always talks about him because he played with him. So he always talks about him. Nah, I appreciate that. Tremendous short king energy. Yeah. Love that. Like that. Anthony, mm -hmm. switch with him. Give me your thoughts. And no, Troy Palomalu is not on that one. Okay, let me see. Let me Ooh, see. yeah, Tom Kaysen and Scooby. Telling you. Yeah, you, you're pretty good. Yeah. You're pretty good. Y'all got some dudes. Terrell Suggs, hard. Tell me, man. Yeah, got some dudes. Man. Never mind. You say you're going to run the ball a lot. You're right. But no, no, but hey, look. What you thinking? Tell me what you thinking. I'm thinking Robert Woods a little bit. He's yeah, okay. balling that. Oh, okay. Woods. No, no. Yeah. Adore Dory too, Jim. Dory could be on either one of these because he played both ways. Bruh, right? ain't that the truth? He's a utility. I make a, I stick him at punt return, and then oh, Anthony's okay. assistant ain't got nothing to worry they about. They can't say nothing right. to him. <laughs> 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 for sure not getting nowhere near my sister. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Anthony Pandy, mm. Stanley Berryhill. Yes, sir. Thank y'all so much for taking time. No problem. Appreciate you. Right on. Hey kid folk, I appreciate you for watching. Subscribe here and ring the bell so you don't miss the latest upload to the channel. Also, be sure to watch more videos here like FS1 Studio Shows and the best from Fox Sports and Fox Sports Digital.